So welcome back once again to another video here in Pennsylvania, more specifically Perry County, because we've been following along. We've been, because uh, I'm probably mixing these videos in with other ones, but we've been spending the day here in Perry County on this late, what is it? It's February 26th, beautiful February day, trying to get to a bunch of covered bridges here in Perry County. And this is our last one of the day, number 10. It's a new record for how many covered bridges I've gotten to one day. Also number 110 overall. And there's a name for you. Kokendurfer, however you want to say that, cock, coke. It's a CH, it's a cuss sound. Kokendurfer. <laughs> anyway, there's a name for you, however you want to pronounce it. But let me show you the maps to show you where we're at. And obviously this one is not uh, drivable anymore. They got blocked off, they replaced it at some point with a, with a modern concrete bridge, but they didn't, they left the bridge itself here, which is cool. Yes, yeah, look at the maps, just to show you where we are. Here's our Pennsylvania map, and once again, we're here in Perry County, kind of in the northeastern part here in South Central PA. And here's another map. These are from Purple Lizard Maps. It's for Tuscarora State Forest, but it has the surrounding area in it too. The state forest is in green, but we, earlier today, we were all over the place. We were landed. We were here at Rice's Covered Ridge, and we ended up a whole bunch of them along here. Bisline, Enslow, Book, a whole bunch of them here. But now we're up, where are we? Oh, all the way up here. So we just did Seville Covered Bridge earlier. Now we're here at the Cockendurfer Covered Bridge on uh, Fritz Road. All right, so not sure why this one's closed, but maybe it's just uh, it's deteriorating and it's better to build a new one. But it's cool that they left, the cover, instead of tearing it down. Like some other videos in this series, uh, Perry County loves its covered bridges and loves its covered bridges and has gone to great lengths to preserve them. Like two of the ones we visited had been burned down and they replaced them. But this one looks like it could use some help. It's not painted red either. So 72 feet long. And I had two different dates for this one. One date said 1903 and one said 1919. So not sure which one it is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, these, these beams are all kind of rotted out down here. Looks like the bridge is separating a little bit from the abutment here too. So there's a gap there. So maybe that's why. Oh yeah, look at this over here. That does not look good. I feel like this is supposed to be level with that, but anyway, yeah, I guess that's why. Yeah, this looks like there's some separation down here. We'll get a closer look earlier. It looks like they tried to keep this beam together by nailing. That wasn't really working. Yeah, so needs some help. What's this? Uh, there's like a hose going across here. I'm not sure what that's for. But yeah, here's another one of these more interesting got the arch, but it's not the burr arch. We saw these one earlier today. I think my notes called it a modified queen post, which I guess in a way it is. You know, the queen posts kind of go up, across, and down, but of course you have the king post there too. I mean, I call it, it's like a modified truss, you know, almost like a burr arch and a queen post kind of married, got married, and this is what they made. <laughs> You know, our burr arches, you know, they come make an arch and go down. This one doesn't make an arch, but it's a similar, similar idea. But it has a queen post look to it. This one's quiet. Well, this beam got one, oh, my goodness. It's got some of these metal ones. Looks like someone ran into that one. They're supposed to be, uh, yeah, well, that one's bent over here, too. So. Yeah, they're supposed to be straight. Huh, maybe that's another problem. People keep running into those. But a lot of the coverage bridges we see have like a little, anyway, like a little barrier here, but this one doesn't. Anyway, they all have their own character. I mean, the upper portion, the main beams look healthy yet. Even the roof looks nice and clean. But the ends, oh yeah, I mean, look at this. The ends are just destroyed. It's all rotted down beneath there. This looks, I don't know look what happened here. It looks like someone almost ran into this one. It's kind of a shoved out, like whoosh, almost like someone came up here and just, cause even this whole thing guy looks like it's been pushed out a little bit. So, but yeah. Oh, uh, even, 
Even the whole thing, even if you look, that whole thing looks a little crooked, anyway. But let's make our way down. Get a closer look. Yeah, here, it looks, it looks, I don't know if the camera's picking that up, it looks, this looks jutted out right here. Which almost like something pushed it out. Yeah, it looks rough. You can see the main, uh, oh, a bunch of, oh, there's like, those are like elder bugs in there. Ba let me zoom in on them, they're like basking in the sun there. Such a warm day. That beam in there is rotting out. The ones down here, the truss is that coming down. And they're kind of sitting in the dirt here, so they're, they're, this is rotting a little bit right here too. So yeah. Yeah, if we look all the way across over there, that end, oh my. We gotta get over there. Cause that, that is destroyed right there. We gotta get over there. I got a closer look at that. It's probably why it's closed. Cause it looks like it's almost sagging a little bit right there. Yeah. Oh, I gotta, gotta, I gotta get a view too. Hold on. Almost forgot about that. Maybe up here. Yeah, that might be the money shot right there. That's a good view of it. Most rustic one we've seen today. Yeah, I mean, just looking at it from here, it's definitely, there's definitely a sag right there, too. Let me zoom in on that sag. See it? I think it's because of what's going on down below there. Let's get over there. Yeah, if, I mean, I don't, I'm not sure what they plan on doing with this one, but they've preserved a lot of the other ones here in Perry County. Went to great lengths to rebuild two of them, the Delville and the Wagoneers Cover Bridge, both of which were burned in recent years. So I'm assuming they'll do something with this, this one at some point. I mean, it's not immediately imperative, I guess, because it's not being used for traffic, but So yeah, because earlier when we first came in here, I said this looks all messed up here, but let's get down there. Maybe get a review of it from over here too. Oh, this is also the big Buffalo Creek. Oh, can't get too close. It's all kind of thorns and stuff. Yeah, but that's those are the those are the supports from the truss coming down. They're they're snapped in half right there, right. There, that's, where my finger, that's snapped in half right there. So those trusses are broken. There's a lot, of, a lot of rot right in there too. So this is really bad shape right here. Now I'm trying to look underneath. I do believe I see steel beams under there. But they look a little wonky too. The whole bridge looks a little wonky. So, oh yeah, I see the steel, I can see the steel down through there too. So there are steel beams holding it up too. Might be the only thing holding up at this point since that's all busted up right there. And here's another perspective. That's a good shot right there too. So I'm pretty sure Perry County will fix this one up at some point. Like I said, they seem to be pretty good at that. Oh, cause the other one we visited too, books was closed due to some damage, so. But yeah, I don't think they'll, like some covered bridges we visited that have been in bad shape. Right? I didn't really have much hope for them, but I think this one will get a new life at some point. But to me too, there's just something cool about that rustic look. I mean, the, the brand new redone red ones, red painted ones are nice too, but I just kind of like these old ones that just, you know, even though they're not doing so well, they just have their, they just have a character to them. They're like an old person with just tons of character. And just one last look here. Yeah, the more I look at it, the more skewed everything is. Even this beam right here is like bending out that way, but. Hopefully you'll get some help sometime, buddy. But like I said, I don't think it's in immediate danger. The roof looks solid. So not, there's not a lot of rot. Like a lot of these beams, they should be able to reuse if and when they do fix it up. But anyway, 
But that'll be it for me then today, folks. Been a fun day. Not too long of a day, but just a lot of these covered bridges we visited today were all pretty close to each other. So I was waiting for a nice day just to knock them all out. And today was the day. It's like, it's only, what is it, February 26th, but it's just like, it's almost only too warm to be wearing this. But yeah, we're not driving across this one either. So, but anyway, thanks for coming along today, folks. Thanks for visiting all these covered bridges with me. Uh, like, what does that put us up to? 110 covered bridges out of roughly 200. So we're, we're getting there. So, always, folks, thanks for coming along, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.